On the dish today, we take you to the celebrated London restaurant of Ravinder Bogal. Her eatery called Jaconi takes its name from the Swahili word for kitchen and serves up a kaleidoscope of food that reflects Bogal's own family journey from India via East Africa to England. MTS Taya went to visit. Jaconi is one of the most exciting, innovative, and down-to-earth eateries in London's eclectic Marlebone area. I always wanted a restaurant where I had regulars. You know, I knew the names of people coming in, what their dogs are called, what they <laughs> like to eat, how they like their gin and tonic fix. That was kind of the dream. A dream willed into reality by the Kenyan-born and London-raised Ravinder Bogle. And then I'm just going to garnish it with a little bit more corn. Just don't call her a chef. You say you're not a chef. You're a cook. Yeah. Why do you make that distinction? The reason I cook is I want to nurture and nourish the people who come in. The word restaurant means to restore, and we feel very much if you're not restoring the people who come in through your doors, you're not doing your job. Bogle restores her diners by cooking with fresh, locally sourced, British-grown ingredients, earning Jaconi the title as one of the UK's first carbon-neutral restaurants. But make no mistakes, the flavors here are truly global. This idea of authenticity and staying in your lane and, oh, you know, if you're a brown girl, you fit in this box and you're going to cook this kind of food. I think Chikoni, in a way, was my subconscious answer to that. Since it first opened its doors seven years ago, Chikoni has remained a fixture on best restaurants list with its ever-changing and always seasonal menu, something Bogol proudly describes as immigrant food. Like this fusion of English, Chinese and Filipino flavors that's crunchy on the outside and gooey in the middle. This is a signature. This is the prawn toast scotch egg with banana ketchup and pickled cucumber. Then there's her hot and sour sweet corn risotto. So all the sort of... Which fuses Italian cooking technique... Let's give it a try. <laughs> ...with Thai flavors. It's a risotto that transports me to Bangkok. Yeah. Other favorites are the crispy eggplant with Sichuan caramel. Oh, you can really taste the Sichuan here as well. Yeah, <laughs> that little tingle that creeps yeah. up on you. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. And the surprisingly hearty peaches with tofu and Thai basil gremolata. Uh, then again, there's the soy kima bun, topped with an yeah, apple yeah. relish yeah. infused yeah. with Indian pickling then spices. You Thank you. Bite into that. It's almost like a sloppy joe, you know? Yeah. Does it remind this you of reminds me of the, the kima or the mints that my mom would make. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> and I've done my job. I've done my job. Because that's what we do here. We're a maternal kitchen. Yeah. A maternal kitchen, or jaconi, inspired by the women who raised Bogle. I think I come from a line of very marginalized women who were basically told, like I was, you will cook for your husband and your children and you don't go beyond that. And it's really important for me to tell the stories of those women, represent their food culture, represent their wisdom, because this is a platform I don't take lightly. Bogle's platform is only growing. As a journalist, she publishes articles and recipes in national newspapers and magazines. You heard it here first. <laughs> right. And, and then makes I frequent appearances on cooking shows. She's also the author of two cookbooks, including her latest, Comfort and Joy. It is a love letter to my, um, you know, to vegetables. And my grandfather, it's a vegetarian cookbook. Bogle's grandfather, who migrated from India to colonial era Kenya in the 1940s, found joy in farming the fertile soil there, something he passed on to her. His philosophy was that vegetables are like miracles because they face pests, blight, and bad weather, and yet they turn up to our kitchen, to our table, and that in itself is a miracle. Bogle also works her magic with desserts like Jaconi's beloved banana cake with miso butterscotch and Ovaltine kulfi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is sublime. <laughs> Thank you. I always know when I'm coming up the stairs when people are eating the banana cake because you hear these kind of sort of gratuitous grunts. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be polite. For Ravinder Bogle, Jaconi isn't only a culinary passport that takes diners on a journey across continents with every mouthful, it's also a place where she can share her family's love of food and the Earth's bounty. What do you want people to feel when they walk through the doors of Jaconi, sit on this table with these beautiful tablecloths and are served this borderless food? 
I want them to feel right at home. For CBS Saturday Morning, in Pjostaya, London. Looks like my kind of food. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> yes. I think what you call vegetables are miracles. Oh, Jesus. yeah. And I like the gratuitous grunts from the dessert. <laughs> yes. Gratuitous well, that grunts. That was pretty good. <laughs> so this is ginger, a ginger shot. We have a yes. ginger shot with, what no is it? No alcohol. Mars, yes. Coconut. Cayenne, coconut, and ginger. And ginger. And, and we have this, ginger candy. Yes. And, and we have a ginger beer. And ginger, and ginger beer. beer. With ginger candy. So I yes, say we so. start with a shot. Cheers. So yeah. You think it's going to be too much for us, me? She's trying to like no. knock us you out. Ready? Here. Yeah, ready. Mm. There it is. Whoppa! That nice. wasn't. That was not too bad. Not the ginger beer. <laughs> Sorry. It means you won't. I'm get, not a ginger shot. It means you won't get sick for a month. Okay. Ooh. That's good. That's what it does. 